Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from vlemon.com and I'm back with another Kongnos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to use bursting. This is our demo report and we are going to run this report. When we are going to run this report, after the successful execution, we are going to receive mail on Americas, Asia Pacific, Central Europe, Northern Europe and Southern Europe. Okay, so let me first open public folder. So we are in public folder sales modules go sales query inside this. This is my bursting report. This is our demo report and I want to execute this report. For this I am going to click on more and I am going to click on run with options. I want to run this report. Okay. So let me first uncheck prompt for value checkbox. Now I am going to click on advanced options. Click on run with options for bursting. I want to save this report and I want to uncheck prompt for values. I want to click on advanced options. Why we unchecked prompt for values because we don't have any prompts. If you have any prompts, you if you have prompts in your report, then you need to define values for the prompt. For bursting, we are going to check this option burst the report. Okay. The next thing I want to enable is I want this report in PDF format. So I'm going to uncheck HTML. Next thing I want to enable is I want to send this report. So I'm going to select send the report by email. Okay. And in the edit option, we can change the subject. Okay. So let's say this is our demo demo must demo busting report hello from my okay okay so i'm done with the subject i'm done with the body so click on okay now the next thing we want to run so I'm going to click on run button. I want to check the details for this execution. So I'm going to uh, check this checkbox and then I'm going to click on OK. And now wait for the execution to complete. To check the progress, I'm going to click on refresh. And finally, our report execution is completed successfully. So let's see whether we received any mail or not. So I'm going to check my first email ID get message and yes we received our email so demo burst report i'm going to double click on this and we have one attachment i'm going to open this attachment and this is the report generated for user americas okay let's see the second email id asia pacific i'm going to click on get message to refresh my email client okay this is our email id and this is our email and I'm going to again double click and open this and see this is our second report for Asia Pacific. Both reports are different. Okay. The report contains data based on the reason. Our Cognos tutorial app is now available. In our Cognos tutorial app, you can find tutorials, interview questions with answers, quiz, offline features for video and articles, job alerts. You can ask your queries. You can find dumps for certification, live training alerts, and much more. Download URL is available in the description of this video. Now, how to create this report? For this, we are going to use our cascading prompt report. If you want to download this report, report download url is available in the description of this video or you can click on or you can click here okay so the next thing i want is i want to open i'm going to select cascading prompt i'm going to click on open okay the next thing i want to change in this report is i want to change the title so i'm going to say let's say bursting demo i'm going to click on okay now i don't want any prompt for this report so that's why i'm i'm going to remove all this first Okay, I'm going to perform a cut operation here. I am not going to delete anything. Why? Because we have some associated queries and I don't want to delete those queries. So that's why I'm going to perform a control X operation. I'm fine with these changes. The next thing for bursting our report, we need two set of data. 
first is the criteria for grouping these records and second is the list of the recipients so this is our cascading prompt report we already have data we need to define the grouping criteria okay i want to burst this report based on the reason so the grouping criteria for this is reason so i'm going to right click on this list report and i'm going to click on go to query and inside this right now we don't have anything for reason so we are going to first populate the columns for reason and i also want to delete these filters i don't want these filters okay so for grouping we are going to import reason related data items and this is our sales query retailers reason and sales reason code so i'm going to copy this to column and i'm going to drag and drop it here okay so we are going to define a group criteria based on sales reason next is email ids okay for our reason prompt we already have a query for personal group or online training contact us reason okay so we are going to modify this so we are going to modify this query and inside this we are going to add a new data item and inside this new data item we are going to add email ids okay now for me for the demonstration purpose my email ids are same as the reason name okay so that's why for me it is straightforward maybe for you you need to bring the email ids from the database so let's see we have any thing related email id first name last name phone number yes we have email okay so let me first run this view tabular data and yes we have email ids but right now this is our local environment and most probably we are not able to send emails on all these domains and of course we are not able to check reports on this domain so i'm going to create my own email ids okay so this is our email ids which we are going to use so let me create a or let me modify this email and i'm going to remove this now our email id format is reason at the rate localhost okay this is the format for our email id so my reason related information is available inside our reason name okay so i'm going to copy reason first and then i'm going to add a plus sign then add the rate localhost okay let's test this everything is fine i'm going to click on okay and then i'm going to click on run view table data so this is americas at the rate localhost asia space specific i don't want any space so i'm going to remove all this space for this i'm going to close this viewer and inside this i'm going to use replace function so i'm going to type replace this is my reason and i'm going to search for space and i'm going to replace it with this okay let's test this everything is fine i'm going to again check this data in tabular format okay now our email format is correct so we are ready now we have our group criteria is ready our recipients are ready now we need to enable bursting for this report for this i'm going to click on file and i'm going to select burst option inside this i'm going to select make the report available for bursting the burst group is query one i'm going to select sales reason code or oh, for label let's say reason and for grouping let's say sales reason code i'm going to click on ok for the recipients i'm going to select reason query inside this we have data item email and type automatic let's say master detail relationship inside this we need to define sales reason oh, let me create a new link first 
then i'm going to select sales reason sales reason and then finally i'm going to click on okay okay i'm going to save this report file save as busting demo okay finally i'm going to click on save our report is almost ready let's test this so bursting demo i'm going to click on more options i'm going to click on run with options and uh, i'm going to click on i want to save this report advanced options and i want to burst this report i want output as a excel and i want to send this report by email id okay i'm going to click on run okay refresh it and our reports are executed successfully so let me open our email client and i'm going to select central europe i'm going to click on get message and this is our report busting demo i'm going to open this inside this we have one attachment a uh, excel document open it and this is our busting demo report now let me close this and we need to check one more option for this i am going to close this execution and then i am going to select one more time more options i want to run it one more time run with options uncheck prompt for value i want to save this report and i want to enable advanced options i want to enable burst the report i want to send the report and this time select uh, this time let's say I, again i'm going to select pdf and in edit options we already know how to add a subject how to modify body so i'm not going to do anything here this time i'm going to uncheck this attach the report this time i'm going to select include a link to the report I'm going to click on OK and finally I'm going to run this. OK. So our reports are executed successfully. I'm going to open my email client. I want to close all these emails. I'm going to select North Europe, Northern Europe. I'm going to click on Get Message and this is our new message around 1 1 pm i'm going to open this and inside this we have a link i'm going to open this link and this is our report so this is how you can use bursting some important URLs.